So the system requirements for God of War Ragnarok is finally out. So let's go over them and see what we can expect when the game finally drops in September. Alright, first things is the minimal preset. We're playing on 1080p, targeting 30 FPS and at the low preset. And with all these presets, we're playing a native, no upscaling here at all, no FSR, no DLSS, which is good. For our GPU, it's a GTX 1060. It doesn't say if it's a 6 gig variant or a 3 gig variant, but I'm gonna guess that it's the 6. But it's not too bad. For a start, a native 1080p, 30 FPS, that's not too bad. 1060 is from 2016, I believe. Super old, almost 10 years old now, and it's still holding up quite well playing the newest games. And I would imagine with upscaling with FSR, we can get near 60 FPS as well. I think our bottleneck here will be the CPU. Talking about the CPU, all we need is an i5-4670K. It's not too bad. I have an i5-4590, so I'm going to pair that up with a 1060 and see if the game is playable at all at 30 FPS. So I would imagine it would be. And for the RAM, it's only 8 gigs. So the Steam Deck or the Ally should do just fine technically. I say Steam Deck, but this game does need the PSN overlay or PSN account. And with Ghost, you could not sign in on the Steam Deck. So if that's the case, this game is forcing you to sign in. If the overlay is still broken, then that might be an issue for Steam Deck users. And for the OS, obviously it's Windows 10 or Windows 11. They're both the same thing. It's kind of funny how they're using Windows 10. It came out in 2013, I think. And Windows 11 came out, what, three years ago? So it's pretty funny how they're using Windows 10 here. Storage though, it's one nanny gigabytes of SSD storage. That is crazy. If you have a GTX 1060 and a fourth gen i5, I doubt you're going to have this much storage in the SSD. So it's kind of crazy to ask for this. It might be playable on a hard drive. I might try it out and see how it goes, but it's a PS4 game. This game is also on PS4, so maybe it can do it. I guess we'll have to see. Comes out in what? In a month? All right, moving up to the second tab. We're targeting 1080p, 60 FPS, and at the medium settings. So quite a jump from 30 to 60 and from low to medium. And for this one, it's an RTX 2060 Super, which should be the same as an RTX 3060, I believe. We'll have it on screen. Um, so again, not too bad for the medium settings. And using upscaling, of course, we'll increase this to maybe the high settings or even a high frame rate if you want to. But 60 FPS for a story game is plenty, I would say. And for the CPU, of course, it will go up to an i5 8th gen and a Ryzen 5 3600. For the RAM, going up to 16. At this point, 32 gigs is standard. So 16 gigs is pretty good, I would say. It's pretty efficient overall so far. Of course, for the OS, the same thing. Same with the storage. All right, high settings, 440p, 60 FPS under the high settings. For this one, it's an RTX 3070. So the 4060 should be in this range. A bit lower, of course, because it's not as powerful, but should be pretty close to 440p, 60 FPS range at the high settings. So using DLSS will push us above 60 FPS for sure. Alright, for the CPU, it's an i7-7700K, so it's going down a generation versus the medium preset one. I'm not sure on the Intel side, but the Ryzen side, it's kind of weird, because I'm pretty sure the 3600 is better, or at least the same as the 2700X. Might be the core count, that's like different in this one. But even then, the 7th Gen i7 is a 4 core, 8 threads, while the 8th Gen is just 6 cores, 6 threads. So it could be that, I'm not sure, but... On the Ryzen side, if you go look at videos, these two CPUs are pretty close to each other. So it's kind of weird. And the rest, the same as before, so no change there. Uh, moving up to 4K60, we're in the performance tab, which is just weird just calling it that. But we need an RTX 3080 Ti. I think that's pretty fair. If you're playing at 4K60, high settings native, no upscaling, that's pretty good. I would say that the cards before this, especially the AMD side with more VRAM, can do 4K60 as well. Uh, using FSR if they need the extra power. On Nvidia, we have 8 gigs of RAM on this side with a 3070, so it might be an issue. And for the CPU, the same as before, it is the same preset after all. All that's changed is the resolution, so the CPU isn't affected, and everything else the same. All right, last tab is the Ultra preset, playing at 4K60 and going from high to ultra. And for the GPU, an RTX 4070 Ti. Now, I believe that this card is the same or very similar to the RTX 3090. I think it does worse in 4K versus the 3090, but in terms of raw power, it is very close. And the 3090 is close to the 3080 Ti. It's like 5% slower or something. So, yeah, this card should be able to do ultra settings as well. Could be the VRAM, because the 3080 Ti has 12 gigs, I believe, and the 3090 would have, what, is it 24? 
Yeah, 3090 has 24 gigs and the 4070 Ti has 16 gigs. So I'm guessing the issue here is the VRAM because the 3080 Ti only has 12 as far as I know. And of course on the AMD side you have way more than that so I think these cars down here should be able to keep up at 4K Ultra as well. So if I was going to guess I would say that the 1600 XT can do 4K 60 as well Ultra. It's like 10% slower than a 3090. It all depends on the games like some games will do better than the Nvidia cards but yeah, I think uh, in terms of raw power, it's pretty close. And for the CPU again, going up to an 11th gen i5 and a Ryzen 3700X. Now these CPUs are kind of weird for this kind of GPU pairing. Unless you're playing at 4K at all times for every single game, these CPUs don't make much sense. If you're playing games at 1080p at times, like you know CSGO or maybe like any shooter, FPS shooter, then these CPUs are going to be holding you back quite heavily. But I guess the target is 60 FPS here at 4K and these are the bare minimum. So yeah, I think overall it's pretty good. There's a massive range in terms of options here, for the lowest to the highest, down here, a 4th gen i5, all the way up to an 11th gen. So you have plenty of range, you could you know, fall into any of these categories here, and go from there. I'll try this out for sure, the lowest settings, 1060, 30 FPS with the CPU, or an i5 4590, a bit below this I guess. So yeah, I'll do the 4060, 2070, 3080, and the 1060. Of course with the ally as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. See you guys there.